Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Wednesday, September 10th, 2008. Yesterday we brought you up to date on how vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin is going around the country telling this fib about how she opposed and shut down the so-called bridge to nowhere. Well, since then, it looks like a lot of the mainstream media, pundits, commentators on cable news are starting to clue in on just how big a lie she's telling. Take a look. But with celebrity comes scrutiny, like her claim about killing that bridge to nowhere. I told the Congress, thanks but no thanks on that bridge to nowhere. But when she ran for governor, she supported the bridge. Palin likes to burnish her reformer credentials by pointing to her opposition to the planned quarter billion dollar bridge to an Alaskan island with fewer than a hundred residents. She fails to mention that as a candidate for governor, she was in favor of building the bridge. Her basic position is that she opposed the bridge to nowhere, that she killed it, but we know that she supported the bridge to nowhere and did not oppose it until the federal government said that the $223 million earmark could not be used on that bridge. The state of Alaska did still get that $223 million, uh, but it could use them on other transportation projects. Only then did she oppose it. Today's Wall Street Journal reports there's significant evidence that Governor Palin once did back spending taxpayer money for the Alaskan boondoggle known as the Bridge to Nowhere. You know that $400 million bridge that hardly was justified by any reason. Yet here's Sarah Palin out on the campaign trail claiming again and again that she opposed that infamous Bridge to Nowhere up in Alaska. I told Congress thanks, but no thanks on that Bridge to Nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks on that bridge to nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere. Thanks, but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere up in Alaska. If our state wanted a bridge, we were going to build it ourselves. Wow, is she imitating the action hero dial there? Anyway, there she goes again. Palin's touted her not exactly true claim of opposing the bridge to nowhere at least seven times since being picked as McCain's running mate. Pretty much every time she's spoken about her experience as governor, in fact, exactly the same words every time. Seven times she said she fought against what the record shows in the Wall Street Journal she initially supported.